Hello guys and welcome to the Internet Bed, a show where we discuss entrepreneurship, how to make money online, digital marketing, SEO and more. This is the episode 5 of our 101 ways to make money online series wherein we discuss one new business model to make money from the internet in every episode. The topic for today's video is how to make money from CPA marketing with Google AdWords. So CPA marketing basically uh, is a form of online marketing where businesses pay marketers to promote a particular product or service uh, based on every action or transaction. So don't get too confused but the uh, crux of this whole model is that uh, you have to promote uh, uh, the products from the advertisers and uh, you will only get paid based on uh, if your con- customers or if your users they complete a given set of actions or not. So to put it in perspective, let's say you're pro- promoting a, a, a diet product. Okay, so uh, these are weight loss pills, let's say for example, uh, which is also a very popular industry uh, niche in uh, CPA marketing. So let's say you're promoting these weight loss pills. And so ideally how other ads work is that uh, users come and click on the ad and then uh, the advertiser gets paid. I mean the marketer, right? But in this case, uh, this is called cost per action, right? So there has to be an action performed by the user only and only then you will get paid. So uh, if the user sees your ad about these weight loss pills, uh, then they have to click on the ad and then uh, they will see the landing page. The landing page, by the way, will uh, you will you don't have to make the landing page. The landing page and all the creatives are given to you by the advertiser, by the primary advertiser. So. Uh, the user come, uh, clicks on your ad, comes to the landing page. If the landing page uh, is appealing enough, uh, he will have to perform an action wherein he either makes a purchase or else he uh, puts in his email ID or else he puts in his email ID, uh, name, country, phone number and so on and so forth. So these things that the user is going to perform on your website is called an action and you are only going to get paid for these actions that users will perform on your website based on your targeting all right so that was an overview about cpa marketing now i'll tell you the difference between cpa marketing and other forms so let's take google adsense for an example so google adsense uh, is a business model by the way we covered google adsense uh, how to make money from google adsense in our first episode so uh, if you're interested go uh, go to the first episode and check it out so how google adsense works is that uh, you have a website where you have traffic and uh, google will publish ads on your website and if people click on the ad you will get paid all right this is a traditional uh, form of online advertising same as with facebook and so uh, yeah mostly right unless and until your ad is a lead generation ad so uh, this is also kind of a lead generation ad so basically when users land to your uh, see your ad they have to uh, the ad copy first of all has to be appealing enough then they will click on it then they will come to your landing page then the landing page has to connect with them the landing page has to really um, sell it okay the landing page matters a lot in this particular model and uh, landing page has to be appealing enough and once uh, they have everything in place they have the information they are sold on this product then the user will actually decide to go and put in their details and once they the user has crossed all of this journey and puts in their details and hits the submit button that's when you will get paid all right so uh, that was like a fair bit of an understanding for cpa marketing and uh, now to just uh, uh, give you a disclaimer i have tried cpa marketing in the past and uh, i used to work with the uh, network called max bounty which is one of the best and biggest uh, cpa marketing networks right now uh, but yeah i have tried it and uh, it's worked out like i, I broke even on it and it, it wasn't something that i was quite very much interested in because um, i like working with websites but i definitely have to try each and every method that there is so but what i have done is i uh, got in touch with a good friend of mine who uh, chose to stay anonymous but he does this uh, on a day-to-day basis that's uh, kind of his uh, full-time job to promote cpa marketing uh, cpa ads and i don't know what all he does he's a very secretive person like that that's why he did not uh, choose to um, like share his name or details on this podcast with you guys so but uh, he is making a lot of money with uh, with cpa marketing and uh, he was kind enough to give us his time and answer a few questions that i asked him so uh, we have a lot of tips for you uh, like from a person who is hands-on doing this 
So now let's get started with how to find offers. So Max Bounty tops the list. It's a leading performance-based marketing network. By the way, performance-based marketing is again what translates to CPA marketing. So don't get confused. So yeah, Max Bounty is one of the best. I have personally tried it, and uh, yeah, uh, it is like literally the best platform that there is, and you will get great conversions there, and good offers exist on that particular platform. And uh, this friend of mine also uses Max Bounty majorly. So Max Bounty is one big one. and uh, another uh, rest you have share a sale which is also great i have tried share a sale also and uh, i have had a quite a, like my most earning that i have made uh, with cpa marketing uh, has come from share a sale although max bounty had better offers and uh, gave me a altogether better experience but uh, where i have made my money in cpa marketing was on share a sale so uh, i will leave links to all of these websites uh, on the website uh, on our website basically which is the uh, blog post for this particular podcast so all you have to do is go to backlink.com b a c l i n c.com/cpa adwords okay slash cpa hyphen adwords that's where you have to go and you will find all the details uh, that all the information that i'm talking about here and all the necessary links okay because uh, if you sign up with me uh, i may be able to get you uh, get your account approved faster uh, speaking of that uh, it is very difficult to get into these affiliate networks all right so uh, the thing is uh, they don't allow any random person to get through and uh, make an account on their affiliate networks because uh, this is some serious stuff and really huge money is involved in these uh, affiliate networks right so uh, max bounty i personally uh, share a sale did not take very long for me to uh, get approved Uh, share a sale just happened over email you just so uh, while you sign up with these uh, networks they kind of take an interview of yours and uh, you have to mention to them how are you planning to promote this are you getting started with this or are you an experienced person in this field or uh, what will be like your first strategy that you will take what kind of offers are you looking for so you will have to give them your complete plan of action uh, kind of um, in helping you with getting your account approved because they need to uh, they need to understand that you are a genuine person and you are a marketer who wants to try the his hands on on cpa marketing or wants to get started with it so they will ask you all sorts of questions and you need to be really good at answering them all right so uh, some affiliate networks will not uh, take are not, are not very difficult actually but uh, the best ones are too tough to crack so i'll tell you my experience uh, um, for myself getting approved at max bounty uh, i had to i had a kind of 20 minute uh, telephonic interview with my affiliate manager okay so like that person is now my affiliate manager so yeah i spoke to him he talked to me talked with me for about 20 minutes and then after that uh, he approved my account and i was in the network but yeah with max bounty and with a uh, few other networks you will be uh, getting a telephonic interview to get into these networks okay so uh, yeah so max bounty i can help you get in because i have really good relations with my affiliate uh, affiliate manager and yeah by the way affiliate manager is a term uh, so basically an affiliate manager is a person who is assigned to your account and you can ask this guy anything guy or girl you can uh, talk to them you can ask them your queries you can uh, like just reach out to them for any kind of help that you need and you need to keep very good relations with your affiliate manager this is a pro tip and uh, why it is a pro tip is that if you have very good relationships with your affiliate managers then uh, you can actually ask them to increase your commission on a particular campaign or something like that all right so yeah all i'm saying is that having good relations with your affiliate manager pays dividends okay in the long run so make a good reputation with them and uh, have a good relation with them and i have um, my affiliate manager is like uh, i talk to him almost uh, every week at, at this point so uh, yeah my affiliate manager can I I can kind of help you get in uh, if you go to the page and uh, leave your email address there. So yeah, go to backlink.com/cpa-adwords. So yeah, there you will find all, find all the information and you can get into these affiliate networks. Now, uh, Max Bounty I mentioned, Share a Sale uh, is also a great one. Uh, next, I would recommend ClickBank, uh, CJ Affiliate, and Smash Loud. So these are kind of the popular affiliate networks, and uh, why you need to actually uh, 
go with the popular ones because there are a lot of uh, scammy affiliate networks popping up and they take your information they take your money and then in the end it's all a big scam you lose your money and uh, yeah you can promote campaigns and they don't en- end up paying you at all or uh, i have seen cases where people have promoted uh, campaigns with a new affiliate network and uh, their payments were recorded but uh, at the time of payment uh, the network just said that uh, these were spammy conversions and i don't we don't think that these conversions were true so all of these clicks are now invalid so your payment is now invalid you're not getting paid or you're only getting paid x amount as compared to what you were initially going to get so these are the kind of things that you need to be very aware and uh, uh you need to take care of before signing up with an affiliate uh, affiliate website so that's why uh, the uh, always go for these websites that i'm recommending uh, you can also do your research but these are pretty much the most famous ones uh, and personally tested so max bounty share a sale clickbank these are the top 3 and then there is cj affiliate and uh, smash loud okay so so yeah you will find a lot of offers here and uh, by the way when you're getting started i won't recommend you to go and sign up at every single affiliate mar- uh, affiliate site that there is uh, so only pick two maybe at at one time and uh, don't get yourself too much too confused uh, sign up at max bounty and share a sale at the most all right next step is to pick a niche okay what kind of products are you going to promote i would recommend starting with uh, like i mentioned health and e-commerce offers so health like we took an example earlier weight loss tips uh, or cellulite creams or stuff like that okay there is a, there are tons of stuff that you will see on these uh, affiliate network sites and uh, you just have to pick a good offer and then t- start to promote it so there is another website another method actually uh, to find these offers is a website called offer vault Okay, so Offer Vault is a website which is an aggregator of uh, offers from all the affiliate networks. Okay, so most of the affiliate networks are partnered with Offer Vault. Basically, they pull in the data from these different affiliate networks and they show it to you in a in a in a curated fashion. Okay, so you can just go to their section. You can go to fitness. So uh, within fitness, you'll have offers from Max Bounty, Share a Sale, ClickBank, and all of these networks. And then you can basically compare and choose which network you uh, which offer you want to promote. Or uh, yeah, it just helps you pick better offers, right? So do check out OfferWorld.com as well. But now uh, let's say you want to pick an offer within the network that you are approved for. So let's say we are picking an offer from Max Bounty. Picking an offer is very important. By the way, you have to pay a lot of time and attention at this part. Okay, this process is very important. Uh, up till now, you were just getting started. You have gotten your account, but now, how do you actually pick an offer that you are going to promote? So, so first step, and uh, these are the tips also kind kind of combined with my knowledge uh, uh, along with my friend uh, who is an expert at this. So first of all go to your category and pick uh, like start looking for products and the very first indicator that you have to look at uh, is that uh, so these affiliate networks will show you a monthly value okay there will be a metric called monthly value and you totally have to ignore it and rather go and check google trends for the product okay so once you are in the fitness uh, niche fitness category you will see multiple products uh, all you have to do is take the product name put it in google trends uh, which is trends.google.com just throw it in there and uh, you will start to see uh, a certain graph okay there uh, you just have to uh, yeah in that graph if the graph is going upwards then it's a great sign you can start to promote this product but you have to see most recently how how has it been performing okay so uh, let's say it was uh, really popular in 2019 now it has a kind of a dip now so you don't want to go forward with that you always have to make sure that uh, the latest uh, for the latest record time the spikes are higher all right and uh, yeah you can within google trends you can also check uh, monthly values or six month values so also make sure that you check the value for 30 days okay which is a month so uh, if if you're seeing that when within the past 30 days the product is on an upward trend then this is like a very big green signal for you to go ahead all right so make sure that you check google trends of the product okay and this is one of the most important indicators for picking an offer the next step is uh, replicate the same process with every single product that there is in your industry so once you replicate this process with the entire uh, category and you've scanned all the products with uh, this google trends method 
you have to basically qualify them all right so if the if the site if the product is on, is on an upward trend you have to qualify them and keep it shortlisted and then at the end of this process you will be you will have like some 10 to uh, 12 offers that are really nice that are on upward trend okay or you may even have less depends on the offer and the industry so yeah the next step is check for for these 10 products check where what's the origin country of the product okay so let's say this product is from the us or this product is from thailand all right so check uh, check what's the google trend for that particular product in its own country okay so that's also very important so where it's originated if it is pro popular there then of course it makes sense that it will be popular elsewhere as well uh, don't rely too much on this but this is also a good indicator because a lot of times uh, it may happen that uh, the product is just an export product okay so so yeah you have to check the country uh, too but take it with a grain of salt the next thing that you have to check is check for the number of competitors that this product has okay and once you run them uh, to run the, a particular offer through these three uh, like tests or metrics then you will have a really nice uh, offer to pick so speaking of competitors you don't want to have too many competitors for a product okay a product is on is on an upward trend so basically the product is selling but if there are too many people trying to sell their product instead of x particular product so that's going to be really difficult for you because competition uh, you are going to face a competition all right not the brand owner uh, because since you are promoting this particular product you will you are the one who is going to face the competition so make sure that uh, you don't choose products that have more than two or three competitors make sure that you do a lot of research in picking an offer make sure you spend a lot of time and energy in picking your offer uh, because if you don't if you mess up this step you're essentially losing your investment all right so this step is very very important uh, in fact uh, take as long as you want if you don't find uh, if you have scanned through the entire network and you don't find any good offers it's fine don't uh, like don't be like i've wasted my time so far uh, instead go pick another uh, category and do the same with them or else if you want you can uh, pick another network as well okay so if you're not finding good affiliates uh, good products in share a sale just go to max bounty or try try something else but do not go ahead with a product that is not uh, giving you a good indication according to the data okay the product has to be always good uh, the the process of picking an offer is very important and the product has to be really nice only then decide to go ahead with the product okay now let's say you have found a gem of a product and this is checking all the boxes it's a very good product which is on, which is on an upward trend and uh, has few competitors great in its own country too and uh, so now we can move ahead to the next uh, next step which is creating an ad okay so creating an ad is also a very important uh, step because if you're not able to entice users into clicking on your ad then basically it's not going to work right so uh, although lucky for you you don't have to create a graphic ad or something as most offers do come with a, a brand kit where they give you all uh, like banners and posters and everything where you can just download and place it wherever you need but in this particular model we only need google adwords okay so google adwords is the only place where we are going to be running offers uh, running ads okay so all you need to do uh, while creating an ad uh, everything that matters is the title and the description so for those who are, those of you who are not familiar google adwords is the google google's advertising platform wherein uh, your listing will be shown uh, above the search results so let's say you search for weight loss tips and you will see this particular ad where uh, where it's promoting uh, lose weight instantly five pills or something like that okay so that's what we're trying to achieve here so you use product name along with the term buy okay so that's a that's an indicator then uh, the next step uh, next word that you need to have within your title is claim today special offer or words like last few or uh, limited supply 
uh stocks running out so these are the words that basically people pay a lot of attention to and uh, people are actually intrigued or like uh, wanting to click on these words okay when they see, when they see these because uh, our brain kind of has a notion of seeing words like sale and being instantly attracted towards it okay so it's the same with these words claim today special offer and the fear of missing out will help your uh, will basically act in your favor and uh, people will click on your listing okay and uh, also by the way another tip would be uh, go and check who are your competitors like uh, who else is running ads and what is their ad copy like basically what's their title and what's their description so draw some inspiration from there as well all right so so yeah that now uh, once you create a great title the next step is to create a very good meta description okay basically just the description the few uh, lines few sentences that you see under a google search result basically under the url that you see uh, you just have to come up with a really good description so uh, explain within one or two lines what your product is about and uh, also add words like uh, stocks running out and uh, so basically you have to explain it as well as as well as sell it uh, within around uh, 160 characters or like yeah so creating the ad is also a very crucial step but i don't think this is as difficult as uh, picking a product is so create the ad and then how to promote these offers so i guess this is not even a question anymore because the title of this video is how to uh, do cpa marketing with google adwords so obviously you have to promote this with google adwords and this uh, why uh, have i chosen google adwords uh, in itself for this particular podcast and not uh, just cpa marketing in general is because this whole topic is very vast okay so it will not be possible for me or anyone to cover such a vast topic within uh, a short time frame or within even like one podcast or one video you just cannot learn it okay so i have taken a very uh, the most effective way where this works and a proven and tested method and uh, yeah so that's why we are looking at google adwords although the other ways to promote cpa products are uh, you can promote them on facebook you can promote on instagram uh, you can do bing ads as we are doing google ads if you have a email list uh, for a particular category industry you can uh, promote your products on uh, with your email list and of course you can do adwords you can do native ads also there are tons of methods to promote cpa products but uh, adwords is the most effective one out of them all i feel okay and by the way the whole uh, scenario like the whole method that i explained to you is uh, is called adwords brand bidding okay okay now coming on to now that you've learned this whole skill uh, now let's find out uh, how much money can be made okay with cpa marketing and how much money do you need to invest so if you start a good number to start with would be around uh, Five to ten thousand rupees, which is like hundred to one fifty dollars. And uh, if you have this kind of budget, then you can really test out some campaigns and have fair amount of data for you to judge why was this a failure if it is, or why is it successful if it was. All right. So five to ten thousand or hundred to one fifty dollars is a very good sta- uh, starting amount for you to get started with CPA marketing. Uh, although you can start with as low as twelve hundred rupees, but you can only r- run one campaign, like in twelve hundred. or 20 dollars uh, but that will actually not give you enough room that 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 will just be one ca- one scenario right you wouldn't have multiple campaigns for you to compare with and study the data analyze what what i did in this campaign versus what i did in this campaign and what are the results comparatively right so 5 to 10000 or 150 dollars at the most are uh, is enough money for you to get started with cpa marketing and uh, the direct return on your 5 to 10000 rupees uh, can be somewhere around uh, 30 to 40000 rupees as well okay so your 150 dollars can become somewhere around uh, in on very good days can become uh, 400 to 500 dollars even yeah okay 400 to 500 dollars would be uh, good enough since you guys are starting out and watching this video so yeah no, don't get your hopes too high but yeah 300 to 400 dollars can be made easily out of you can get 3 to 4 times return uh, it's not very difficult to get 3 to 4 times return on C- on cpa marketing if and only if the given condition is that you you have picked your offer very nicely you have checked all the boxes that i talk, spoke about and your uh, you have a great product to promote okay so you can expect a, a a 2x return is very simple actually to get in cpa marketing and uh, 
either way i think if you have picked the product nicely and there are some other factors why your product is not selling all that much i think you will at least make back your initial investment which you will break even okay you cannot lose money in this uh, you can of course but if you do it right you cannot lose money in this if you're serious about this then i don't think you can lose money with this but uh, yeah worst case scenario would be you will break even and uh, yeah good a uh, good case scenario would be like you can make 3 to 4 times uh, of your initial investment and uh, an average case would be that you're making twice the amount that you spent all right so that's how much amount uh, that that's the whole monetary bit about this particular method and i guess uh, now we have covered every single thing that there was uh, to talk about with regards to cpa marketing and yeah there are multiple ways to promote cpa mar- uh, cpa ads like i mentioned but adwords is one of the best and uh, yeah that's why uh, i would highly recommend that you uh, even start with adwords all right so i guess that was pretty much it for you guys uh, and uh, that's how you make money from cpa marketing with adwords and if you have any questions queries feel free to reach us out uh, at backlink.com b a c l i n c.com/contact okay uh that's that's our uh, email id where you can get in touch with uh, us if you want to directly speak with me you can g- uh, get in touch with me at abhishek which is my name a b h i s h e k abhishek at backlink.com b a c l i n c.com and uh, shoot me your queries and i'll be happy to solve them and uh, subscribe to the podcast share it with your friends and definitely try these things out uh if you're comfortable spending all this money because uh, it will be an experience and you will learn uh, so the only way to get started in your online journey is to start don't look at uh, too many things don't try to check all the boxes don't try to be perfect just try to start all right so and yeah the most important thing is take all these things seriously if you treat all these uh, like online ways to make money online this particular business model that model if you take these things uh, treat them as a business model only then these are going to work for you if you uh, if you kind of your perspective towards uh, online money making is that i'm trying this and it may work out or it may not work out then you'll probably not succeed but if you treat it like your business then it definitely will all right so that was pretty much it subscribe to the podcast share it with your friends and uh, uh yeah let me know how it works out for you i'm uh, always willing to listen and uh, yeah that was it thanks peace